Okay. Um, I find the most onerous task I have to take on right now with my um, house is to try to document our personal property for um, coverage B. So my personal plan is to get chat GP to just help me with it. So let me, let me just show you a basic idea. Let's say you had a new object. First, I'm going to tell it like, um, I want you, um, to help me make an inventory for my property that was lost in the fire in the fire and would be covered under coverage B, which is your um, Hope I'm getting that right. Okay. So it's going to say, okay, I prefer working from room by room. It knows that about me on the other day. So my idea was like, I'd go through an area, right? So he's, he, it's going to ask me some things. It says, choose, choose a room to start, focus on large item first, ask for price comparisons. So I'm going to give a little more directions. I'm going to say, I will give you the item and general... Um, time I remember acquiring it or its general age, I want you to list the condition as I describe to tell about how it was used, if it was a tech item, because I have a lot of music equipment, um, and to look up a comparable item or modern replacement. I want you to list the highest price only for that item. I want you to give me a clickable link for the replacement item. Let me see. Okay, um, let's try one example, just, just so we can make sure. All right, so I'm telling it, I'm gonna give it an item and they'll structure it, but let's see what they do. You can just kind of refine it depending on what you need. I'm supposed to tell the age and condition of mine. Okay, so let's pick a, um, a common household item that you might have. Um, I can also tell tell it uh, like if I don't tell you the age, then you can say recent purchase, reach a recent. Okay, if it is a custom or antique item, then research current market value. Okay. That's kind of, um, that's kind of important. You'll notice it just corrects my bad spelling and stuff. Perfect. Okay. So let me, um, let's start with the, um, living room. Okay. So I would do one chat per room or one chat per area. Um, I have a new Panasonic frame TV about 50 inches. I'm just making that up. Panasonic frame TV. I, I always wanted one of those. So it's going to, it's trying to think about how to do all these things. Okay, good. All right. And then I want it. Can you display this in a three column table with the first column being the description, including the age and general 
and detailed information information um, write the age out in words DM me I'll tell you why in the second column give either the RCV that stands for um, replacement cost value of a new item or the market value or custom antique or art pieces. In the third column, give a clickable link to the item. Okay, now I'm starting to get it to be in a table format. Pretty nice description. Okay, perfect. Okay, so let me show you where this is going. I'm gonna add um, a couple more items. You can just put them in a big list now. So I'm gonna do, watch this, antique uh, Morris chair from 1910, um, craftsman style, comma. I also, maybe I have a rug um, eight by 10 basic from Home Depot, floral, um, pre 2016 when we moved into our house. And I also have in that room, a, um, Amazon Kindle, um, still used, but pre 2012. Okay, so I'm going to put four items as a comma. This is a great way when you're just like brainstorming or your friends or family members are just telling you things that you have to put in there. Okay, here we go. Let's see. It's going to try to do all of these things. We'll see if it puts it in the table. Just thinking, thinking, thinking. Um, if it hangs up or something, sometimes refreshing the page works and it does crash sometimes. Okay, so now I have all those. Um, now, it's got a bunch of um, words in here. I don't want it to have any words because I want it to be able to add these things up. So I'm going to say remove words from the second column except for the dollar sign. Okay, scroll down, it's doing that. Okay, now it's also calling out age. I don't want it to do that. I just want it to put it all together. Okay. Um, write the description column to be one, two, without, I say without the word, without the subtitles, just make it flow in plain language. I just don't, I don't want to, I'm not going to make it easy for anyone to read how old it is. I'm just going to, um, I'm just going to write it as, I'm going to make it kind of complicated. Okay. Now I'm looking at these um, different things. Now you have to double check the price um, of some of these objects, but that's, that's for you to do. And you can click on the links to see, but it's still um, doing um, some of these these things. So I've got my my items I did. It actually missed an item. Let's see, what did we tell it to do? We also told it, oh yeah, we have the three items plus we originally did the TV. Okay, now each time I add an item, also show me the total RCV. Okay, so then it's gonna tell me how much I'm up to. And then I can also ask it for what taxes too. But now it's getting a nice description. I think this would be harder for somebody to go through and depreciate. Um, that's kind of my goal. And uh, I'm, I might go through some of these, but you can see it's already looking up the links for you. It's giving you a current price. And now it's going to um, hopefully add up the, the total prices for me. So which is what it's doing. And it gets a little slow, but you know, this is faster than I could do it. Okay, so it says total RCV, which means replacement cost value of $3,292. Okay, 
Okay, now, next thing is how do I get this information out? And I want to tell it this. Each time I add items, comma, I want you to generate a CSV file. Um, append v1, v2, v3, etc. on it. I want to be able to download it. So what I've learned is this thing sometimes loses your data and you have to go back and reconstruct. So um, by doing this, I'm going to try to get it to create like an Excel or Google Sheets file that I can just keep pulling down to my thing. Um, and I'm gonna, okay, so let me add one more item and it should do that. Um, let's think of something um, kind of random that I might have in my um, living room besides um, those, those things that I already listed. Okay, I um, had um, 200 vinyl albums from 1970s to 1990s, um, some first pressings, all stored in cabinet, out of heat, all playable. Okay, so let me go and see what it does. Okay, it's, um, it's gonna kind of just assess this group and give you a general idea. You're in California, you're allowed to bundle things. So here's my plan. It said, okay, that'd be like $2,000. Give me $10 per valuation. And I could say, I think like $12, 12 bucks per is more fair. And if you, I don't know if you bought vinyl records, but they're like 18 bucks now. Um, so here I go and let's see what it does. Now, what it's supposed to do is give me the updated inventory and then tell the total. It's also, um, remember, it needs to give me that. Remember, give me the RCV each time. Okay, so now I have a very nice um, prompt that is giving me a clickable link, hopefully. And I'm gonna just keep downloading it. I'll have a bunch of files on my computer, but it's like a cheap way of doing backup. It does have ways to reconstruct it from one chat to the other if you keep it in a project, but it's still a little buggy and this isn't perfect, but it's it's okay. So you see right now, it's just taking a while for it to think. Let's see if it goes before I, I leave you here. Maybe I'll show you how to troubleshoot this too, if it goes. I found sometimes you go and you browse on something else for a little bit and you come back and it, it's there. But anyway, know what you're going through out there in the uh, world of dealing with these insurance claims, it's really terrible. And uh, the fact that we have to itemize household of 30 years of antiques and, and other things is just crazy to me. All right, so let's see what it says. Okay, here's the inventory and there it is. Okay, it tells us that. Let me see if I can click it and, and download it, download the file. And then I'll show you what it looks like when I open it. Uh, there's the file. It's got the items, the description, the price and a comparable comparable link, which is pretty good. All right. And uh, the description contains the age and what it was used for and um, tells you how we were still using it. Everything's good. Anyway, um, if you have questions, comment at the bottom. Um, next time I'll show you how to take this and then reuse it as a prompt so we can have ChatGPT take this prompt and then put it as the main directions in the project so that we don't have to keep typing this once you get it refined to the way you want it. All right. Hope all is well. Bye.